good morning it's a magic Monday it's a marvelous Monday and it's makeup Monday yay okay so obviously you guys are seeing me get ready for the week I've got all the rollers in because it just blew out my hair and I wanted to calm down but have volume okay that's enough of that sparkly pink eyes I'm using by Terry's ombre black star today I'm using three colors and I'm gonna blend these on the lid and around the eyes and what you're gonna see is a really easy to do look so but I have to tell you if you watched my video the other day then you know that I like to make sure that the concealer goes where it's supposed to go since I'm not using any powders I can put my concealer on first so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my um, Sisley Fido Cernzy Clot concealer and I'm going to put a bit of that on let me put this up there we go and I'm going to cover all the Doka circles first and now oops, there it is okay and I'm going to use my correct and even wet dry brush from Trish McAvoy to pat all of that concealer up there and get it really close to the eye because I can since I'll be doing a creamy shadow and I can even do a little bit more let's do just tish more I am going to do layers of concealer admittedly but I do want to make sure I get enough of this in there as well so I love that car that cold tip on there because it really does help to decrease any um, uh, puffiness which we love we don't want puffy under our eyes and then I'm tapping it through here because I tend to get redness around my nose do you ever get that do you ever get redness right here I like it to be gone I don't want redness there so now I'm going to see okay let me do this side real quick I hope you guys are having a great week or weekend sorry it's Monday I lose track of the days of week, I have to be honest with you. Uh, especially the closer we get to Christmas and all these gifts I've, I've had a chance to get for so many people. I've got, thank God, lots of girls in my life, even though I've got my boy, my wonderful 16-year-old boy. But I've had a chance to get some really cute stuff for some girls this year from the store, and I love that. Okay, now this concealer is the By Terry Tar Terribly Don Solis number two vanilla beige and I'm basically gonna go over what I just did and I'm just gonna tap this through to make sure it has iridescence if you've seen me before then you know that this one is a corrector and more of a, an eye treatment and this one is iridescent so I want to have the iridescence of this very easy to do tapping it on and see here's the thing when you use the right primers and the foundations, these things stay on even with a mask on. You would be so surprised. Um, I will say by the time 5 o'clock hits and I'm heading out the door at work that um, I, you can tell I need concealer. But if I have time, but we've been very, we've been, uh, had lots of appointments lately. We've been busy, so um, I haven't had a chance to touch up my concealer which I love to do about three o'clock every day, but it would it's just one more thing I couldn't do, right? Okay, so oh and I want to make sure I put on a little bit of Charlotte's Lash Boost. She got me this lash boost last year and I'm still going through it. I cannot believe I still have any in here because I use this stuff every day. I think the only time I don't use this is when I have just either gotten up late or just haven't even put anything on and I rarely have those days so I tend to be pretty on time okay now I'm going to see I've done that I'm going to put on a little bit of eye base essentials from Trish McAvoy because I want my lid to be a little brighter so that the eyeshadow will show up more even evenly and um, so I'm using eye base essentials in bare and number 66 brush and so really there's just two brushes that I needed today for my eye makeup. I needed the one to go for my concealer and the one to go into the lid. And I like to put, pat this in as well 
swipe it a little bit. You've got to get it done before it gets dry. And I have a space feeder in here today for my for my puppy. So she's in here and she gets cold easily. She's a Boston Terrier. And the other one, she doesn't mind it. She likes it too. But I have three, but two of the little ones are in here with me. Okay, so now I have an even palette to work with. So I'm going to go straight into it. What I'm going to do is I have the two pink colors are Frozen Quartz and Misty Rock. And Frozen Quartz is the lighter color. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and start putting that all over my lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and just start blending that in and give myself a beautiful... Uh, it, this could be day or evening, by the way. The, the look I'm doing, it can be day or evening because it is just very classic and elegant um, colors and they're very wearable. Honestly, I have some clients who will wear just that alone and it looks so pretty. Doesn't that look pretty? And so let's put a little bit on this one and much like the... Um, you have to move this around, much like the um, the primer from Trish McAvoy. You've got to get this into place right away once you put it on, because once it dries, it's waterproof. So it's not going to go anywhere until you use your facial cleanser to remove it, which we love. So that's already, now all I've done is this lower part. I'm going to come back to this color. I do tend to like to put the lids on while I'm working with it because I don't want them to dry out. They are, they do, they, they can get dried out if you leave them out uh, too long. But I don't plan to, but then again, I'm sitting here talking to you all while I do this. So now I'm grabbing the number five Misty Rock. And this one's a little bit darker, and you can see where I was playing with colors on here. If you're wondering if something funky on my hand, that's the shadow. I was playing with the shadow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up a little bit up at the top part of my con uh, to contour more up there in my crease. I'm going to put that right in there. I'm probably going to put a little bit more. But see, it gives a nice contour. See, it's just a smidge darker. So let's do that over here. And we want to, and here, it's kind of a baby doll, elegant, baby doll's an extreme term. It's really more of an elegant uh, evening look. This is great for holidays and whether it be something you do for one of your holiday parties, you're going to be wearing a mask with, with your friends and family, or if you're just going to um, wear it to New Year's Eve, or even on Zoom calls with family, you can, you, it's for you girls, it's, this is for you, you know? We always do this for ourselves and we need to remember that it's just fun, you know what I mean? We just wanna have some fun. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit more of the Frozen Quartz color and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the thing I swear you shouldn't do, right? I'm coming up a little bit more into my brow bone and then I'm going to go ahead and grab the next color, which is, what is the name of this one? Blonde Opal. I knew what it was, and yet I couldn't remember. Okay, and I'm going to go right under my brows with this. Now, mind you, I've put most of my makeup on because I could. And now what I'm going to do is wipe my fingers off. I want to get the color off my fingers because I want to keep blending. You can use brushes with this. It's just easy to do this as well with your finger. And see that when you put just the slightest bit on there it just makes that brow bone pop it makes it come forward and I just love how it does that if you do a little bit and it's for it's more for an evening look but this being worn the way I'm doing it can be worn during the day as well now again I'm wiping off my finger on my little micro cloth remember I always have a little micro cloth um, so that is most of it now Here's part of the fun part that we don't normally do with our makeup. I'm looking for the right color. So I'm going to grab the Misty Rock, which is the darker pink, sort of a mauve, almost purpley. Depends on your opinion of color. And I'm going to line underneath the eye here. And I'm going to do a little bit along here. And this will give the eyes that sort of pink smoked look that we all want 
when we want to have a smoky look. It's not too much makeup. It's a light color. And then you're going to put a ton of uh, mascara with it, right? So now what I'm going to do is grab, I didn't pull out that one brush that I needed for this. Um, let's grab the Trish McAvoy. What number are you? Oh, you're petite blending. Okay. So I'm sure there's another brush I could have pulled out, but I wanted to just go ahead and grab it. So this one's kind of firm and it has a nice tip to it so I can get it soft by the edges around here. And like I said, you all, you, you, this is more of a baby doll type of a look. You know, I usually do more of a cat eye, but today I'm doing something that is a, is a bit softer. And you can still come back in and put your darker colors in later to emphasize the parts that you want to emphasize. I do want to make sure I have, I like to remember, I like to have that shadow show right through there. So that looks already, that looks really elegant and very pretty. And I'm going to grab my lash curler, which is of course is my Trish McAvoy, and I'm cleaning it off with my micro cloth. And I'm going to curl those lashes, and we're gonna start those that layering of those lashes that mascara and actually this is the perfect look to do with false lashes if you like to wear false lashes I highly recommend you do this um, with this kind of a look I mean it is perfect for that it makes it even more glamorous and feminine and fabulous and this is so glam that I'm going to do the two layers like I always do and this is the Sicily so curl, go on top of the lashes. Make sure you do that so that the lashes will look thicker. And then come underneath with the mascara as always. See, look how glamorous and feminine that is. Isn't it beautiful? I've got so many lashes that I had one fall. Okay, so, and I didn't always have a lot of lashes. That lash boost really did transform the way my lashes are. Again, I love to quote Charlotte. I told her, I said, my mom would have just wanted me to wear my false lashes. She goes, but wouldn't your mother have loved you for you to have your own long lashes? She would have loved this stuff. Look at that. Isn't that feminine and beautiful? I just love how that looks. It's so pretty, and the rollers just top it off. You know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, that looks really pretty. Now, of course, I always like to add a little bit more glamour to the eye, and I'm gonna put the black pearl to make my um, my lids, my lashes look a little thicker. I'm gonna put it right here, just against the lashes on the tight lining or water line, whatever you wanna call it, and see it makes the lashes look a little thicker. We love that. And then, again here, are you guys ready for, uh, have you gotten all your shopping done? Have you purchased everything you need? Because that's half the fun, isn't it? Of Christmas is buying stuff for people that you love. Now I've got to do my eyebrows. Let's pull out an eyebrow pencil. Um, I'm actually not going to use um, black liquid liner today. I just wanted to go for a softer look. But I am going to fill in my eyebrows. And this one is the Trish McAvoy Precision Brow um, Shaper in natural brunette, so it's a little darker. It's the there are two colors natural and natural brunette. This one is the darker of the two, natural brunette. And I'm going to make sure that I get those brows the shape they need to be. Lift that eye, love that. Would help if I didn't move my brows. I love how I talk with my eyebrows, that's hilarious. Anyway, so now I'm just brushing it in. And what color um, nail polish are you guys falling in love with for the holidays? Have you found a nail polish? I have. I tend to have a fail safe with this gold one. Um, this is a an OPI color, and this is the color Enter the Golden Era. And I don't know if it's still around. I'll I'll find out for you all if it is. But I just love wearing golden nails during. Um, December and sometimes January. I just think it's so much fun and also when I have a tan in the summer I'll do that sometimes too, but I just think it's so pretty. It's a soft color 
it's um, it just makes the holiday so fun to have some sparkle on our fingers anyway that and now my brows are in place they look so good the eyes are almost done one more layer of mascara as you know and of course I'm going to use the by Terry lash expert and I'm going to go over these and I'm going to hit the by Terry lash expert on this and then I come underneath and I, t I wiggle it along the lower lashes so I am loving this feminine look this stuff it's funny because these also all of these ombre black star um, eyeshadows that I use today are anti-aging and they tighten up the eyelids so we love that right so let me show you the four I used again so these are the four and that was just so easy to do so simple so quick I think this is probably one of the quickest uh, makeup um, Mondays I've done so far and um, let's see let me get these out real quick so you guys can see that I have it all pulled together and then I've got to put a lip on that a lip stain I wonder what let's see I think I'll do that vintage nude again maybe Oh, I know what I'll do. I don't. I know just what I'll do. It's a matte color by from by Terry, and it is a gorgeous color that um, is very easy to wear. But I'm not going to need much. It's a it's matte, and um, I can't remember the name of it. Otherwise, I'd already be telling you. But let me pop these out real quick so I can show you the more finished look keeping it conservative and yet very feminine. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Just want to keep it beautiful and girly. Okay, run my fingers through my hair. Yes. So now, got that nice wave going with that. There we go. Don't have my jewelry on yet, but what I'll do is show you this really cool lipstick. There she is, she's at the bottom, how dare she. Okay, so this is number four, and these are the Rouge Expert uh, Click Stick from By Terry, number four. So see that neat tip on that? So it acts like a, a lip liner and a lipstick at, at the same time. Easy to put on. Doesn't take much. It is a matte color. It is not a stain, but, oh, that looks pretty. I need a little bit more pink on my cheeks, too. Let's do that. I didn't do enough for that. Peony Pink from Trish McAvoy. This is the Trish McAvoy brush angled contour, I believe. Angled contour. And so I'm going to brush that right over Pink Peony. So, oh, that looks good. That's just what I needed, was a little bit of pink on the cheek. Yay! So now I am all set. And when you, let's see, I'm gonna soften that up just a little bit with my powder brush. What do you guys think? Do you like this color, this look on the eyes? Aren't these fun? So when you wear your mask, it's not just doesn't that look fun? Nice and pretty, very soft. It will stay in place all day. Big bonus, right? And we love that. And then the lashes just look so, they, it's all about the lashes really. And it's, well, it's about the pink glow too. A little bit of shimmer, not too crazy, very feminine. I hope you guys like this. And I hope you guys have a marvelous Monday, magical Monday, and enjoy your makeup Monday. Mwah. See you guys later. Bye.